So you clicked on the video, and you might be thinking, who is this guy? Where is this guy? Why is this guy talking to me? And you know what? I could ask the same question, because I don't know who I am either. All I know is that I'm here right now, experiencing this moment, and you're, wherever you are, watching the video, experiencing your moment. Honestly, I don't really have any direction with this video. That kind of just reflects my life right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to go in life either. But I'm here anyway, and that's all that really matters, I've realized. Because you don't have to do anything in life. That's a common misconception we often fall into. Rather than having to do things, you get to do things. It's a, it's a gift, an opportunity. There's no pressure. You could just sit and stare at a wall all day if you really wanted to. You don't have to do anything. And everything you do is because you want to do it. Even when you say you don't want to be doing something, the fact that you're doing it means you have to be kind of wanting to do it. Because if you really didn't want to, you just wouldn't. I sometimes wonder how in this society it seems like nobody questions the bizarre nature of our reality. Like, just the fact that we are experiencing life. It seems like everyone just kind of accepted it. Or maybe they never questioned it to begin with. But I just can't wrap my mind around it. Like, that I'm here right now, that this is happening, that all this exists and that so much more exists too. It's just crazy. Sometimes I feel like I'm alone in my, in my own little world. Like I'm the only person who experiences reality in this specific way that I do. The only person who really questions everything. And I know I'm sure there's probably other people out there who are similar to me or also question things. But it's just like where I am in life right now, where I am physically, I'm just completely surrounded by people who are so different than me. And I'm kind of beginning to accept it. I'm kind of uh, learning to be okay with it, I guess. But um, I don't know, it still kind of sucks because it's hard to find people who relate, you know what I'm saying? But maybe that's just where I am in my journey. Maybe eventually I'll find my people. But for now, I'm here. Isn't it cool that we're just a bunch of monkeys trapped on, like, this floating rock? And we kind of forget that we're monkeys because we have all these fancy tools and technology. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we're still, like, just animals with, like, consciousnesses inside of them with thoughts. Just, like, on this rock that's like spinning around super fast and we're just here and like for all we know we didn't even choose to be here i mean we probably did but we're still here isn't that like crazy isn't it crazy you're experiencing this moment you're like watching me stand here by this abandoned building talking about this through a phone isn't it crazy that <laughs> You're like getting the energy from where I am right now in this moment, but when you're watching it, that's a completely different moment in time, but you're still experiencing this moment as if it were the current moment. That's like the power of technology and videos. I, I think that's so cool. Videos are such a new like invention, but I think like video diaries and documenting with videos is the future. Like we've never been able to do this before. Imagine if like Jesus had a video imagine Jesus had an iPhone and could take videos and then we could just watch videos of him talking like 2,000 years in the future I mean for all I know the person watching this right now is watching it from the future like maybe I'm dead and you're watching this video right now that's so bizarre for me to think and to think that you're perceiving this moment and energy as if it were it is existing in the, your present moment even though I'm dead theoretically that's just crazy isn't it crazy that all these people driving in cars, all these people driving by in cars are also experiencing life and reality in the same way I am? Like, life is just as real to all of them as it is to me. And yet it's so different. Sometimes I forget that other people are even real because I can't experience their perception. 
so it just feels like my perceptions all that exists but like, look that guy in that car right there that's a real ass dude he exists so does that guy and all of them and all of you sometimes i feel like i'm living in some kind of dystopia like all the concrete everywhere and pavement the lack of trees and nature i feel like um like it's hard to even breathe here i feel like i'm breathing in like a dusty attic or something but i'm not i'm outside there's just like not very much oxygen because all the trees are gone which is kind of sad really but you know that's life i guess evolution and de-evolution but it's not really just the physical attributes of where i live that feels like a dystopia it's also the society and the government and social media <laughs> i feel like we're so controlled in like so many ways that we don't even realize for example we don't even control like the food we eat like what's put in grocery stores it's out of our control we don't actually know what we're eating and most of the time it's like toxic things and chemicals we don't even know about. There's so many like weird laws and rules and regulations and it's so hard to do anything. Like we're given the tiniest amount of freedom and just enough to make us like feel like we're free, but I feel like we're not really that free. Um, but at least we're not at war yet, at least not right here. I mean, pretty sure in other places around the world we're like funding other wars so um that's not cool but it's not it's not too bad i guess no i'm probably starting to sound a little negative um and yeah i i'm feeling like a weird energy this is my first time walking around in this area i just rode a bus here and um there's like a weird energy in the air it feels like sinister almost like when i'm walking and I like see other people, I like feel this like weird like sketchiness, like I kind of got to be on guard. It's kind of like a survival mode, which is not how I usually feel. And it feels like it's kind of coming from outside of me. It's like in the environment, it's like there's like a residual dark, heavy energy in the air. And a really weird smell too. I can't put my finger on it, but it's a kind of a gross smell. Like it, that the air just smells like a like a dirty like garbage can or like like a dusty attic or something like that and it's like kind of hard to breathe because like all the trees are dead or i don't know if this tree is dead but <laughs> even if i'm not happy about the state of the environment that i'm in i'm still happy that i have the ability to perceive an environment to begin with i think that's so beautiful that i can sit outside this jack-in-the-box the fact that I can even comprehend what a jack-in-the-box is, like, the fact that a jack-in-the-box exists, the fact that this video exists, you know, it's just, it's just a moment in time being captured, that's all it is. If you also feel like, um, you don't really fit in with the world we're living in, and you're aware of how bizarre it is that this is all happening, I just want to reassure you and give you hope that it's all meant to happen and we're meant to be right where we are right now. You have so much potential and I know you know it too. These times of confusion and darkness are going to be temporary. As the world awakens and we start to see the light, it's all going to get better. You just need to keep on swimming, keep on, keep on doing your thing. You're doing great. Don't give up. There's so many lost souls, so many lost people in this world right now. We all have our faces shoved into electronics all the time, so we never have time to stop and ponder on our own existence. But that's going to start changing soon. Lately, I've been trying to practice a technique of existence and consciousness where instead of focusing on whether I'm feeling good or bad or instead of focusing on how I'm feeling or what I'm experiencing to instead just focus on the fact that I am experiencing to focus 
on the fact that I can feel good or bad, that this moment is happening and that I'm aware of it and that I can see it and feel it. And when you're not attached to the circumstances, but rather the fact that circumstances can happen, that anything can happen, you're, you're becoming aware of the awareness. It's a much more balanced and stable way of life because now your environment cannot control how you feel. Your own awareness controls how you feel.